Oh, fuck. We're playing this game? Hello, everyone. My name is Don. Welcome to Halloween month where I play scary games. And as you may know, Mega Man X6 is a scary fucking game. Now, I'm just going to be upfront with you. I hate Mega Man X6, or Mega Man X Episode 6. They're going for a Star Wars reference right there. The Return of Zero. But I hate this game because the level design is bullshit. And just so you know, I'm playing this on the PlayStation 4 on the X Legacy Collection, so it gets rid of the J-pop opening and it gets rid of the load time, so thank God. <laughs> Not that this theme song is any better, but make that what you will. Um, so apparently the satellite crashed into Earth. I thought we prevented that. <laughs> That's one of the many problems with this game. It's not even supposed to exist. What was originally supposed to happen, or at least I think was supposed to happen, was Zero dies, but the Earth was saved. But the good thing is he comes back in 100 years for the Game Boy Advance series. But somebody at Capcom didn't really like that idea. So they made X6 against Inafune's wishes. And with Mega Man X6 existing, that kind of ruined Zero One's plot because the director had to change some story elements, so yeah. X6 sucks because of that. Oh, bite me, your intro was not that epic. See what I mean by short and low times? PlayStation 4 version for the win! Sort of, it doesn't cut out all the typos and the weird level design, or... I mean, I guess it does cut out the level design with the Rookie Hunter mode, but I haven't tested that yet. You may hate me for this. I'm going to cheat. You wanna know why? Because this game cheats, so fuck you. <laughs> If you want to access Ultimate Armor X from the start, you want to press left, 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 right while highlighting Game Start. You'll hear a jingle for when the command is correct, and you'll start the game as Ultimate X. There's also a similar code for Zero too, and that's L1, 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 R2, and he'll become the Black Revive Hunter with his own unique set of perks. But for this game, I'm strictly sticking to X because he is just that damn powerful. Anyway, here's the story of X6. This game takes place three weeks after the events of X5, which is already Strike 1. It was supposed to be three years, guys, not three weeks. A guy named Gate is exploring the wreckage site of Eurasia from the last game, which may or may not have impacted the Earth. We're just gonna say it impacted the Earth. What the fuck, guys? This, this is already stupid. This story is dumb. Then again, to be fair, all of the Mega Man games have really dumb stories outside of maybe Legends and Zero. The lore itself is pretty rich, but the endgame stories themselves are really... what the fuck. <laughs> but getting back to this story, this particular story, this gate, he finds what appears to be a power chip, and he gets possessed by that power chip. <laughs> you should have left it alone, man. He's causing havoc, he's possessed, they're rolling balls or, or logs or whatever these metal things are supposed to be. And X actually has a new set of equipment in this game. It's the Z-Saber. Yay. He's not terrible with the Z-Saber, but it's not like you're Zero. For one thing, Mega Man swings the lightsaber like a drunken idiot with a baseball bat. There are no combos, it's just one stationary swing. So that's crappy. And also, Mega Man is less damaging than Zero ever was. Which is kind of a fair trade-off if you really think about it, because Mega Man was always the long-distance fighter, whereas Zero was the guy to get up in somebody's grill. So it makes sense. It doesn't make sense for this game because, oh boy, the enemies like to get up in your face a lot. And I may have forgotten to mention this like 10 times, but the stage design kind of sucks in this game, so... You're going to be spending a majority of the runtime on top of bosses and enemies and stuff. Anyway, here's the first boss of the game. It's a giant mechanoloid. And as you may know, series tradition, giant mechanoloids and them being first bosses are pretty easy to take down. You just go for the power core. And this guy is so slow, you can actually stun lock him. Thank you. 
Wow, it's, it's like that, Zero? You're just gonna steal my kill? Even when you're dead? Dick. Zero? Oh my god, it really is Zero. He's haunting us from the dead. I knew we shouldn't have made this stupid game. And here's this clown. Meet Hymax, wasted character with a pretty badass theme song. Which sounds more like hurry up pinch mode music, but it's a pretty badass hurry up pinch mode music if I do say so myself. Anyway, Hymax will serve as your second boss and you cannot damage him. He is indestructible, so you just kind of have to take it. The good thing is, there is a timer for this boss fight, so you don't have to worry about getting yourself to low health to move things along. Maverick Hunter? <laughs> Not amazing. Ugh. Well, we tried. I could not inflict any damage on him. I'm a bitch! But no, there's something with Hymax that is very confusing on your first playthrough. Or hell, any subsequent playthrough of this game. Which I advise you don't do because you'll risk your sanity. <laughs> but um, Hymax takes damage in a really confusing way. I'm just kind of skipping along the story. Here's Isaac, or Isaac, or Isaac, sack of balls. Um, this guy is, I'm not sure if he's trying to be Wally, but he's kind of Dr. Wily. Yeah, I don't even care. Unleash your nightmare, I'm going to destroy it by the end of the month or something. This is, this is eight parts. I'm not sure if I'm going to finish this by October, but we'll be damn close. And just like Mega Man X4, this game tells its story through still images as opposed to FMVs. What, whatever happened to those 8 slash X4 cutscenes? Like, come on, where's the anime? I want anime, damn it. Ugh. Uh, at least the still images look cleaner here than they do in X5, so that's a plus. Kind of. Anyway, just like with every other Mega Man game, Sans 1, there's 8 Robot Masters, or Mavericks. Oh god, they're still talking? Just shut up and let me play the game, guys! They're talking about the Nightmare Virus, which doesn't come into effect until two or three Mavericks later, so you're good for the time being. When the Nightmare Effect kicks in, that's when the game goes to shit, so... Let's just enjoy the few decent levels that we have. Starting with Commander Yamark. He is probably the only Maverick in the game that you can start out and still have a good time with, so let's just do him. And pick Ultimate Armor, of course. Still have to select that on the player select. And whatever you do, do not select Unarmored X. You'll have a miserable time. Here's the epic backstory of Commander Yamark. He was originally created by Gate to support forest preservation projects. Becoming the leader of an ecological observation team, in order to ensure the most thorough investigations, he's equipped with the Yamar option independent dragonfly mechanoids that act as his eyes and ears. While on duty, he once accidentally set a fire that burned a large, a large portion of the forest due to a control disorder. Man, Mega Man games and burning fucking forests. <laughs> what the hell? He was not accused of the incident, but sometime later, someone sabotaged his flight system, leading to a crash that killed him. So he's supposedly dead. But no, that's where Gate comes in. Gate later resurrects the Yamark to aid in the investigation of the Nightmare. Being responsible for researching the Nightmare insects and other phenomenon in the Amazon area, due to what happened to him, he developed paranoia. Being distrustful towards Reploid researchers and Maverick hunters, and attacked the hunters when they checked what he was doing, leaving them no choice but to destroy him. Damn, that's some deep shit. When the wiki does a better job of explaining your characters than the actual game, then there's a problem. <laughs> But I will give X6 this, the Mavericks have some pretty unique designs. And I can at least remember their names on like X3, X5, and the later ones. <laughs> so that's a plus. Anyway, there is an E-Tank up above, but I couldn't get to it for the time being, so I'm, I'm just gonna pass by it. There's a part coming up where you have to blind jump across a pit of spikes. It's probably the most sadistic part of the stage, but it's not that bad when you use the enemies to your advantage. Which is still pretty bad. Damaging yourself to avoid instant death is still pretty shitty. 
Ah, uh, yes. We're still not at the part yet. These insects can be a bit annoying because they like to hover above you. Oh, dude, just get out of my freaking way! Okay, here's the part. Clement actually made a good point in his Let's Play. Why is this a blind jump? If I wanted blind jumps, I would have played Super Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. Better game, but I still don't like that game. Hell, I probably would prefer playing The Empire Strikes Back over this thing. Anyway, these mantises... Manti, mantises, whatever. They respawn after you shoot them. I would just egress because it's annoying to deal with them, and also they shoot out these sickles that are really annoying to dodge because they fill up the screen. Looks like somebody took inspiration from Sonic 2 in the worst way fucking possible. Huh, anyway, your goal for this game is to rescue these hostages. They'll give you parts that you need to... Wait, is that Double? I think I just rescued Double. Looked like he lost weight though. Anyway, as I was saying, you need to collect these hostages in order to get parts. You gotta be careful though, because the hostages can and probably will die. And if they die, reset the save file. Because it will be just your luck if a hostage dies and he, she, or they are carrying an important part that you'll need for the final section. Which is dumb. Okay, if you're gonna have a hostage execution system, why have the hostages carry important parts that you'll need to beat the game? It's like, let's take for example, Goldeneye. There are a couple missions where you need to rescue hostages or they'll get executed. It's not like you'll get screwed out of the final level if you don't save the hostages. I mean, you have to reset the whole mission over, but it's not like you reset the game over. And I think Mega Man Zero did this as well, where hostages can die, but it doesn't really do anything. It just ruins your rating a bit. But never mind that, that was a really awkward tangent. Actually, no, that was a justified tangent. Screw this. Um, here's Yamark, who is pretty simple, but he is aggressive. I will give him that. He'll stick to one side of the screen and use his option to shoot a whole bunch of bullets. They're kind of erratic, but they're also slow, so you can dodge them with ease. But getting back to the whole hostages have parts for the final section, yes, you do need those, or at least some of them, because Mega Man X will blow otherwise and his abilities won't be as... they won't be good for the final section, let's just say that. Ugh, I think I'm giving myself a hemorrhage. I'm only on part one. I got seven more parts to go. This is gonna suck hard. Let's call it the Nightmare Soul. Let's call this game a fucking abomination. Yeah, you can equip parts. Alia's explaining that you can equip parts by going to the menu with the Robot Masters and pressing the L1 button. It's pretty simple. You just select the stuff that you need and there you go. Anyway, we got the Yamar option, which is... Let me just get one thing out of the way. All the weapons in this game suck, except for the Yamar option. And whatever Blaze Heatnix's weapon is, that one's okay too. But all the other weapons are terrible. Commander Yamar... Oh, they actually do go over his backstory in this game. Like, in the game itself. Interesting. It's too bad it's surrounded by all this other fluff chat. There's a problem with all the Mega Man games after X5. They just go on and on and on and on and gloss over the important stuff. It's shameful that they can't beat that mysterious old robot. Look at my menacing face. Look at it. This game's a mess. I'll see you in part two. This is going to kill me.